Who even needs... Who even needs, uh, explosives? This thing is its own... Powerhouse. 360 no scope! Hold up. Whoa. Alright, now we go. 360 no scope! Oh, I got it! <laughs> oh. I'm running out of oxygen, I should probably... I don't need to get behind him, I am power. Oh, shit. Mm. <gasps> no! You're shitting me. No. No. No! No! Oh no! No, what have they done to- No! Oh no! What have you done? Oh, you- I should have known. That's just like they did at the ending of Far Cry 4. They left you feeling unsatisfied. Fuck, I knew they'd do this. I knew it. For some reason, I thought- They turned me into a Yeti and now they can't- Now those golden path fuckers aren't gonna- Oh, I hate you, Ubisoft. Well, now, at the ending of the regular Far Cry, after this, obviously you could still, you know, be a, uh, be far, you know, continue to play. So I assume with that skip button down there, I wonder if I get to be a Yeti. And if I get to carry a gun and be a Yeti, maybe I'll be okay with that. I, I don't know. I'm very, right now, fuck. Did they really have to do that to RJ? That pisses me off. They turned him into a fucking Yeti. But that's totally up Ubisoft's alley. I, that's just, that's their... From what I've gathered from Far Cry, I just, I don't know, I wonder. I remember Far Cry 3 was the same way. You, like, either had to kill your girlfriend or kill some other... Like, they always make it so you're just not happy. But it's still a blast. God, I love this. But, uh... Uh, I'll give it, give it about another minute before I'll skip through these credits. But, I don't know, sometimes they hide things within the credits. I don't want to skip anything. I want to make sure. For you guys, I'll probably just skip it. But for me, I'm going to watch all these credits just to be safe. Plus, this is a pretty good song. Fucking you, Lung. Man, I only had the AMR for like five minutes before they wrecked this. I better keep it. But <laughs> now, if I'm a Yeti, the AMR, <laughs> I could probably dual wield those things. Damn, how many people did it take to make this? It's a DLC. I just want to know if I'm a freaking Yeti or not, but I don't want to miss anything. Hey, a Snapchat from Scrotus. Let's see what that is all about. This ought to be good. <gasps> oh shit, he got me one of my corners! He got me an Everglades corner! He's the man! Noah, you could learn a thing or two from him. For real though, uh, why are they doing this to me? Why are they making this, uh, credits? The Italian version? Really? We really need to see that? Okay, they wouldn't have hid something extra. Obviously. I mean, who's really gonna wait and look at the credits for every single language's version? Or maybe, perhaps that's the trap. They're looking for who the loyal fans are. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Very good chance that maybe none of the stuff I'm saying right now even ends up on YouTube. I'm going to take an incredibly loud sip of my Coke right now.
I don't even remember what it, the Montreal User Research Lab would like to thank Nicholas Sweeney for his his participation and the technology group. We're just making up names now, the technology group. Next, it's the Institute of Science and the Department of Research, the Synapse team. Synapse. Synapse. Synips? Flying Architects team. The Metrics team. Boom Boom team. Dare team. Ugh. Uh, you know... Stuff you don't end up putting online. Ugh. Whoa, hello. For people to see. I regret this decision of waiting 15 minutes. Almost... It's been about 15 minutes, actually. Pretty darn close to 15 minutes now I've sat here and watched these credits roll by. Gone through at least eight songs, possibly more. I've seen Italy, Mexico, Japan, basically every other country that got a hold of this game, I had to watch the credits for that country as well. You fought off the attack, you killed the leader, and now in, in a desperate act, the last people who were fighting. What in the hell is this? That really killed my boner of musical genius-ness. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling this one, though. This is my jam. Ooh, this is a really good song. For real, though. Uh, this is ridiculous. Make it stop! I won't... I... There's gonna be something... Very, very worth it at the end. There's going to be a digital receipt for a, a check of $1,000 to me because I waited this long. They, When they were designing this, they're like, Tim, no one's going to wait this long. 20 minutes in, no one's going to care, even if it is like a 30-second Easter egg. Who's going to wait 20 minutes, go through every foreign language's version of the game, and look at Michael Hammond, the creative director, fly by for the eighth time? No one's going to do it. Well, that lets up the ante to that guy who does do it. I'll bet you a thousand dollars someone does, and if someone cashes the check, I win. If no one cashes it, then you were right, and it was a waste of time. And that person is gonna be me. And I'll donate it all to a fund that makes uh, credits shorter, or 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 maybe a petition to turn uh, AJ from a Yeti back into a human. Because you can't do this to him. Even if this is just like a joke side, if this isn't Kanan, if this game isn't Kanan from the original, how could you take AJ, the king of Karat, fucking turn him into a yeti and leave him there? Because now Karat is once again without a king. Then again, I was never a very good king. You can ask Noah, all I've done is murder all of my subjects. I've killed more Golden Path people than I think I have with actual red guys, but it's not my fault. The Golden Path people are douchebags, and they're stupid, and they're really bad at their jobs, and there's another reason, but I... Because there's of spoilers for someone, I'm not allowed to say the biggest reason why I kill them, but... Hey, I just got a trophy. It's called Awakened. I know that's just because, oh shit, I should have saw that coming. It's because they, uh, a, a Yeti is an awakened one. Let me guess. Uh, I, sh I wish I had a trophy for, oh, oh, let's see. Thanks for playing Valley of the Yetis. You now have completed Valley of the Yetis. A gift is waiting for you in front of the relay station. You are now free to roam the Valley of the Yetis as you wish to discover all of its secrets. Am I a Yeti? I am... Oh, okay, so it's just a joke. So I truly am not a... <gasps> oh, I've been waiting so long for this. Oh. Oh. The funny irony of that. Earlier in the regular Far Cry mission, you couldn't go very high because the air was too thin, yet I'm flying at 23,000 feet of elevation already, and I'm doing just fine. 
Oh, man. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep that $1,000 now because, obviously, RJ's not a Yeti. It was just a bad dream, thank God. Okay. So, that is the Valley of the Yetis DLC. Now, I neglected to show a lot of it. I just kind of showed parts of it. So, there's still a 100% reason for you to go out and get it because it's fun. It's real fun. And then compared to the original Far Cry, it's, it's a lot more violent and it's a lot more uh, fast-paced. It's a lot different. It's got a different feel to it. It's a lot more scary. Well, not terrifying, but it's definitely more scary. Different game to me. So, you should definitely get it. Then you can get this thing. So, alright, this was very much fun. I'm very glad I got to go back to Far Cry, and I guess now I'm going to head back to Minecraft, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.